Now let me just quickly close by sharing a few of the kind of overarching uh, big issues. I won't talk about all the integrating the technical products and the people on a team that's, you know, this, this 10 centers is a good thing, sounds good, and we want 10 centers involved, that sounds good. It's a lot of integration, and that's, that's not an easy, it's kind of like space station with international work. It's very, very difficult. Uh, and integrated with all of our uh, partners in other parts of Constellation. We had that in Saturn, Apollo, and uh, we're going to have it here. It's, it's a difficult thing to do. And with other stakeholders, there are other people like Lori's telescope that are not a part of Constellation, but they have an interest in, in this. We're talking to other agencies of the government that are also, I have a meeting set up next week with two Brigadier Generals who have a very strong interest in what they could do with an Ares 5. They want to, they want to see that. They've asked for it. Uh, managing the workload, trying to come off shuttle, uh, come on to Ares 1, come off Ares 1, go on with a nationwide team and everybody's got to be paid. We're not going to lay people off. It's very difficult to balance all this work, as you guys know very, very well. This uh, managing communication, don't underestimate what a problem that can be. We have a lot of data that is either proprietary or it's sensitive in other ways. Some of it's ITAR data. Uh, some of it is preliminary. It doesn't mean anything, but in the public's eye, if you read it on NASA, watch it say, oh, well, they've got a problem. Guys, I worked on the Saturn. We had the problem of the day, almost every one of which was worse than any problem we've experienced on this vehicle. They have to be solved. They're engineering challenges. They have to be worked. Doesn't mean they're showstoppers, but if you read it, you know, you, if, we, if we fail a test, within seconds, it is flashed all over the world. We didn't have that in Saturn. That's a challenge. Is how do you do We want to be open, but there's a lot of things that just aren't ready to be shared. They're, they're preliminary. Something doesn't mean that, well, every time I read the newspaper, it, it, they talk about the trouble Aries program. Well, change the name, call it the Troubled Aries program. It's, it's less troubled than the Saturn ever was. We had pogo problems that would make this little thrust oscillation look like nothing. We dealt with them. We were happy when we got down to where the oscillation was within 10%. We said that's good enough. We're down at a fraction of 1% on, on this, and we even have a way to mitigate that. So there are problems, got to be managed, but the information on this is a big thing. In fact, we're using a dual launch. Uh, we're going to launch, you saw the two pads, 39A and B. We're going to launch the crew, uh, contrary to what the tour guide said, the crew will launch off uh, 39B. The cargo will launch off 39A. They will launch 90, on the next, uh, next rev, 90 minutes apart. That's, that's quite a challenge, uh, but we're going to do that. Yeah, it's a much, yeah, you get two for one, yeah. Uh, much larger rocket, no one's ever had anything like that. Uh, all of these things are, are, are management challenges. I won't take more time. I think we're, we've got two or three minutes out of when we should be finished. And with that, I'll just tell you, if you want more information than, than this, you go to, uh, to the, uh, our homepage, just the nasa.gov slash Aries, and you can learn probably more than you want to know about Aries. Thank you very much.